Hi guys, it's Chirose and it's just a really quick update on my manga collection. So, if you followed me for a long time, maybe you know that my first anime series that I watched was Vampire Night, a series that was killed by Waneko some time ago and now people trying to scam other people trying to sell the freaking series for almost 900 złotych. Bruh, it's an old manga, it's used. It's not worth that much money. How can you possibly sleep at night knowing that you scammed some horny teenager on that series for 900 złotych? But maybe you sleep well. Maybe you sleep well because you have money in your pockets. But honestly, it's not worth it, guys. If you want to collect Vampire Night, what I would suggest is be patient. There's still a lot of people that sell that manga still in the lower price than it is because it's used and they understand that or at least with the original price you know which is like 20 złotych be patient so i was collecting vampire night from the volume number five i was really into the series i went it was volume five already bought it then obviously because i didn't have shops nearby with manga i had to wait so i skipped this sixth volume because i couldn't buy it i bought seventh and then from from and from now on i collected the whole series and at one christmas or birthday my friend wutsia gifted me the first volume which had a defect unfortunately which is not her fault i i love that um, manga so it doesn't matter especially that the defect is just that the, the outside cover is for some reason longer than the volume which shouldn't happen it's not like the print got you know cut if I cut it it's just you know a little bit double material which didn't stop me from reading the manga also seven volume unfortunately I don't know what's with vampire night the glue isn't that well then some of the pages fell out of course they are tucked in but they fell out so what i did and what i recommend to you is wait patiently so i did and once i found a person on facebook which sold me it through vinted it's very nice to buy manga through vinted because especially if you're buying like two volumes or less the shipping is, you know, less expensive and also you can get your money back if you get a shitty product. I found someone uh, that sold me it from Vinted and wouldn't you know, exactly the two volumes that they had were the volumes 4 and 6, which I, you know, I have 5 and 7, which was just an amazing coincidence and they were selling it for 10 zloty each. And I know, Frono, I'm gonna buy mangas from you from now on, but... This is something that, you know, you probably wouldn't be able to get anyways. Not that I, you know, it, it, I'm, you know, I jumped on the train when I saw it. And then I found a person that was selling um, five volumes of the manga. I wanted to buy only second and third. But honestly, like, yeah, if the person wants to send them, sell them, it's usually not a good idea to send, uh, you know, just some volumes from the middle. So I went ahead and bought three of the volumes and I am gonna resell the first one. Maybe not this one because I would rather maybe get rid of uh, my one which has too long of the outside cover. But I bought one, two and three. And now if we put it all together, which I already made space for it, and now I have a whole collection. Will I ever sell it? Probably not. Do I still think that Vampire Night is the best anime and manga? No, of course not. It was like my first anime when I was aware that it's an anime. I just have a very uh, big nostalgia for it. Even though it's a series literally constructed for horny teenage girls. I mean, it's a s simple love triangle with handsome vampires and a girl that is like, you know, uh, powerful but not, you know, she's like, I don't know what to do. And then at the end, she's like, ooh. Um, I think manga was constructed better than the anime, but I mean, you know, just like it is with many things in anime and manga. It's great. I like it. At least it has a nice ending, you know, compared to anime, which ended on like, ugh. So, you know, that's it. Is it?
Yes, that's it. Oh, one last thing I wanted to tell you about. I am a big fan of Monster Musume. I gotta, I gotta collect more because I stopped at volume 10 because I didn't have money. But the thing is that I had a volume in Polish and volume in English that I got from my best friend Chris. Um, that volume is now gone because I borrowed it to some ass. Let's just say that it was stolen. It got stolen by some asshole. It's not, it's really not worth talking about it. It's just stupid. But the thing is that, you know, I already made up with, uh, you know, me not getting it back ever. But I still wanted to get like a memory of it. I mean, it was an important thing, you know. So even though I don't have it anymore, I have it in my heart, first of all. Thank you, Chris. But I also wanted to have something else. So on the internet, I found a scan of Monster Musume first volume um, scanned cover. And I'm still not finished with it because I glued some of the uh, pages uh, kind of not even. So I will have to cut some from the outside. And I also couldn't find the cover in English. So I just went ahead and printed the original Japanese one. And I made this, which is a tiny little manga. And as you can see, I, I did it not evenly. So I will have to cut some of the pages. And it's also very nice because I reused my old biology notebook, which I'm not going to write anything in it. And there was like quite a few pages left. So I was like, I might reuse it to a notebook that I will use, you know? And so now it's just a little manga notebook. Isn't that cool? It has the, the, the things at the cover and you can write in it. It's just perfect. So, so this is a representation of that gift. And I made my piece with it and I love it. And honestly, that just was an opportunity to make something like that and maybe more of these. So in co just in comparison to show you, Ta-da! This is in comparison to the Polish version, of course. I love it. I made two more of them. It's super cute. I and it will remind me forever for that of that manga. So thank you, thank you for watching. As I said, be patient with your mangas. You're gonna get them sometime. <laughs> thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Hopefully soon. I'm planning a wig haul. Hey. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>